Hi, third grade. Today we are going to take a look back and review simple verb tenses. At the introduction here, it says the tense of a verb helps readers know when something is happening. The present tense shows that something is happening now or in the present. For example, I walk on the grass. The verb walk in this sentence is saying what's happening now. It is in the present tense. The past tense shows that something happened before or in the past. To form the past tense of most verbs, simply add ed at the end. For example, in 1969, Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. 1969 is several years ago. This already happened. So you don't want to say in 1969, Neil Armstrong walk on the moon because it already happened before. Use the past tense verb walked. The future tense shows what is going to happen in the future. To form the future tense, put the word will before the verb. For example, maybe someday we will walk on Mars. Using that keyword someday tells us that this hasn't happened yet, but maybe someday in the future it will. Look at the table below. Notice how the verbs change when the tense changes. So think of that verb, that action, look. Here it is in the present. In the past tense, add the ed, it becomes looked, and in the future, add that word will before it, will look. In the middle column here, the verb is roam. In the present tense, it's simply roam. If you want to say that you roamed the streets last year, you put it in past tense with that ed ending. And if you say that you will do it in the future, you have to add that word will in front of it and write will realm. And the last verb here is discover. Discover is in the present. Discovered with the ed is in the past and will discover is in the future. Let's take a look at the guided practice below now together. The directions at the top say, write the correct tense of the verb to complete each sentence. Let's take a look at that quick hint on the side there. Words and phrases such as in 1958 or today and years from now can help you decide which verb tense to use. Number one, the NASA space program blank in 1958. Oh, well, there's that key phrase that they just showed us in the hint. In 1958, that should tell your brain this happened a while ago. So this is in the past. How do we take the verb start and put it in the past tense? Right, add that ed to the end. Started. The NASA space program started in 1958. Number two. In 1961, just a few years later, that's still in the past, isn't it? NASA blank, a capsule called Freedom 7. Well, our verb this time is launch. If they already did it in the past, that verb becomes launched with the ed ending again. Number three, John Glenn blank earth in 1962. Well, same as the first two, 1962 already happened in the past. So how do we take the verb orbit and make it past tense? John Glenn orbited Earth in 1962. Hmm. So far, we've had three past tense verbs. Let's look at four. Oh, I think I just jinxed myself. Today, astronauts blank on a space station. Well, today says it's happening right now. So that is the present tense. And our verb is stay. Well, stay is going to stay the same because it's already in present tense. So it makes sense to, to say, today astronauts stay on a space station. 
And lastly, number five, years from now, we will blank to other planets. Well, this keyword will and these keywords years from now tell us that we're using the future tense here. Years from now, we will travel to other planets. And make sure I made a quick mistake here. Will is already there. So make sure you don't put it twice like I did, okay? It should say years from now, we will just keep travel there to other planets. All right, good luck to you on the independent practice. 